if we have two populations and we need to compare them, then on the basis of the median difference, we usually compare them using Nan Whitney U test or Wilcoxon sign rank test if provided that the variables are related. So, if variables are independent and we have certain groups or treatments, uh, let us suppose if we have more than two groups or more than two treatments and they are to be compared, that is, if we have three populations and all the three populations are to be compared simultaneously, then we make use of the test, the parametric test uh, that is called analysis of variance or we usually called it as ANOVA. So, ANOVA is a test which is used to test the hypothesis that the mean of the populations for all the three groups, three or more groups, they are same. But the problem with the uh, ANOVA or the analysis of variance is that there are certain situations where we cannot apply ANOVA. Why we cannot apply ANOVA? The reason that uh, let us suppose if one of the populations is not showing the normality, that means the data is not following the normal distribution either or the second assumption that we take on for the analysis of variance is that uh, there is homogeneity of variances. So, if one of the assumption is not met with the data, we cannot apply analysis of variance to test the equality of several means. So, what we can do then, students, we can make use of the non-parametric alternatives that are available and by making use of them, we can compare three or more populations. So, for three or more independent samples, the objective would be to test hypothesis that the several samples are drawn from the same population or we can say that from the population with equal location parameters. That means we are interested in testing the equality of several location parameters. So, students, if we are talking about mean, for instance, then we make use of ANOVA to test the equality of several means. But if some of the stringent assumptions of ANOVA are not met, such as the uh, one of the fundamental assumptions of the ANOVA are that the samples are random. So, if even the samples are not random, we cannot apply ANOVA. Similarly, we are assuming that all the samples are independently drawn from the normal populations. So, even if one of the populations is not normal, we cannot apply ANOVA. Then the next assumption is that populations have equal variances and it may be tested using various tests such as if we talk about uh, Levine's test, so that may be used to test the equality of variances or if we are talking about ANOVA for instance, under the ANOVA, F test is used to test the equality of the variances, population variances. The non-parametric counterparts for the parametric test, they actually do not follow the stringent assumptions that are being followed in case of parametric tests. So, some of the non-parametric alternative tests for comparing three or more independent samples, we are assuming that the samples has to be independent. All the three populations that are to be compared and the samples that are being drawn from various populations, they are considered to be independent of each other. Let us suppose if we are talking about the uh, class performance of the three different groups, then students, obviously, all the three groups are different or independent as far as their class performance is concerned. Similarly, if we can take uh, an example of the average weights of the students and they are to be taken from uh, various samples and if we are talking about the weights for the three or four groups, Obviously, they are being recorded independently. So, if you are talking about the samples, so even among the samples and from within the samples, they are independent of each other. So, students, the non-parametric alternatives of 
the parametric test that is ANOVA where we are going to test that there is equality of several uh, means that is to be tested. It cannot be applied due to the fundamental assumptions of ANOVA if they are not met with your data sets. Then we can make use of these non-parametric alternatives. The, I'm going to share the list of non-parametric alternatives that are available in order to compare three or more independent samples. Let us suppose uh, the first non-parametric alternative that we are talking about is median test for several samples. Students, aapne pehle jase sikha ke we have two samples, we can uh, compare their medians using the median test. So, even we have the extension of that median test for several independent samples. Then the next test that I am talking about is Kruskal Wallis test that was developed by Kruskal and Wallis and it was named after them. It was developed in 1952. Then there is expected normal scores test that was developed by Fisher and Yates in 1938. Then we have another test which is also based on to the ranks. As you can see that all these uh, non-parametric alternative tests of ANOVA, they are being based on to the ranks of the data. Here, we don't make use of the original observations. Rather, we rely on to the ranks of the original observations. The next test I'm going to talk about is pairwise ranking. It was developed by Plinger in 1985. Then the next test is intrinsic rank test. Again, it is based on to the ranks and it was developed by Kahneman in 1980. And finally, we have median test-based procedure that was developed by Shoemaker in 1986. You just compare all these non-parametric alternative tests, then we consider Kruskal Valley's test to be more powerful compared to the other tests as far as the assumptions of the test is being considered. So, this particular test will be used further to compare several independent samples as far as their median difference is concerned. So, this Kruskal Valleys is considered to be the most powerful test as compared to the other non-parametric test. But if we just compare it with ANOVA, obviously ANOVA is more powerful compared to the Kruskal Valleys test provided that your populations are normal. So, if your populations are normal, we'll be looking for ANOVA to compare several populations. But if some of the assumptions of ANOVA are not met, we'll make use of the Kruskal Valleys test.